What's up guys? Today's lesson is sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. I recently sat down with Gabe Bolt, host of their new show, Big Change, to talk about how I built out a special office space just for me and my guitars. Check out my episode on the Rocket Learn YouTube channel. Link is in the description. All right, so it's a one, four, five in F sharp, or F sharp seven. So like an F sharp blues. Starts with a cool lick. Which is piano, but we can do it on guitar. It's the F sharp on the A string right here. So eighth fret. To seven, then six, then four. Now you can add an octave on the G string, which that's gonna be starting on the 11th fret and it just stays a whole step apart. You're muting everything else. F sharp. Then the four chord, which is going to be B. So that's the second fret A string. Da, 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 da. Then the five chord, which is C sharp. Da, da, da. Ba, da, ba, ba. F sharp, yeah. It starts over F sharp. Then raise the four. Then a whole step up to the five. Then back to that rocking one. But it always does a quick turn around back up to the five. Like that, it's always a quick. So, to add that little boogie part, you got to stretch your pinky pretty far, but it's that F-sharp power chord. And while I'm holding that power chord, my pinky goes up to that 6th fret A string. Back to the power chord, then back up, so. Those two times. Same thing here. Up a whole step, and the first one. So I can I would think of it as as two guitar parts. One guitar part doing the boogie power chord. So after those two bump 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 ba don't, you can grab that octave of the power chord. So for the F sharp. It would be the fourth fret D string, and you just give it a little bit of that rock, rock down, down strokes, you know. And so that one, you add your pinky to the fourth fret G string. Same thing up a whole step. But this. So that rhythm part on that last one goes to that turnaround when it, the way it fits in time. And then the other part, I think of an F sharp seven. And so if you have that bar on the second fret and this uh, A string on the four and G string on the uh, third, and then holding that bar, make that B major shape. So and you hammer that chord, so. Then with the B major, we're gonna add the sus four, which is gonna be the fifth fret B string. Which is um, kind of like a Keith Richards kind of thing, but without his open G tuning. 
Same thing up. So I'm adding my pinky to the fifth fret B string and then back to that F sharp seven. Now the other the other option is think about both those guitar parts and if you're the only guitar player and you're playing it in a band or something like that you can just pick and choose uh, any bit any parts that I just showed you and, and mix it up you know like the verses you maybe do the boogie thing but then when he's saying old time rock and roll you go for the bigger chords that's totally up to you but there's a lot of choices there and then you've got the uh, F sharp minor pentatonic, you know, the blues. That's it for the rock and roll, now for the refinancing. Head to the Rocket Learn YouTube channel, check out my episode of Big Change, where I tell Gabe Bolt all about how I built out my loft of shred. Thanks for watching, see you next time.